Hey, Chuckies, welcome back to another video here on TXT Track Time. Chuckies, please go ahead and like the video and also go ahead and subscribe. Yeah, some of you are watching and not subscribing. I don't know why. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well. Now, with that said, Chuckies, Alana Reed, she's now a professional athlete and she's signed with Nike. Now, Chuckies, we have clearly spoken out against the brand on this channel and said to our athletes, look here, we don't know what is going on with Nike and supporting athletes, but it seems to be something going on that's not in your benefits so just go in any other route that's not the nike route now we've even said this about you know our very own Jalen hibbert you know we do think that he has the ability to go pro at the end of this season so we're like you know what go pro however not nike so with alana reed you know choosing nike we're like hmm this is very very interesting now track is how i became you know abreast of nike and thinking that they're not very supportive of athletes was all the way back in 2016. now that was the first time i became aware of anything contract related on or uh, and nike no this was when Shelly and Fraser Price decided to cut ties um, with the MVP Chuck Club. However, allegedly, you know, she was forced to stay with the club because there was some apparently some contract clause that tied her to either the club or the coach where if she left, she would lose all her benefits on her contract. And as you know, Shelly had run from all the way back um 2008 you would say winning gold medals you can just think about the stopped benefits that she would lose from consistently winning global medal after global medal after global medal so she would risk losing everything if she left um mvp so she decided to stay however my opinion is that at some particular point in time when she was able to re renegotiate her contract, she changed that because as you know, she left the club, I think either late 2019 or early 2020. So that took care of that. However, there was always a thought process in my mind, like, hmm, this is very strange. You know, I didn't know, you know, con um, contracts force you to quote unquote stay with a particular club or a coach you know that was my first run into the situation then shortly after that there was the whole Alison Felix debacle yes this became a big 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 thing with Alison wanting you know maternity protections to be added for female athletes to be added to the contract and of course Nike declined and I remember vividly thinking about it because this I think happened around late 2017 with Alison Felix and if you guys remember, Shelly gave birth, I think, August around around August um, 2017. And I was there thinking, clearly, um, Shelly suffered the same fate here, but she decided to suffer in silence um, as it relates to this particular issue. You know, puss and dog don't have the same luck. So, you know, I don't really fault her for not really speaking out at the time, but I remember thinking about the whole thing um but then because of course it directly affected one of our very own athletes at the time so also i do remember having this big big debate with my sister i think we were coming home from vacation i think and you know we were driving home i think from maybe saint anne and i brought up the topic i thought she would agree with me but somehow she didn't because at the time there was this talk about you know the structure of the female athlete contract is the same structure that the male contract has and i thought to myself you know that's that's pretty unfair as a female because if you want to take time out to you know start a family then it's seen as you know a non-performance and then your contract gets cut because Clearly, you're going to need time off, right? But that time off that you're taking is not because of injury or anything else. No, you're taking time off to start a family. No, 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 no such thing. If you decide to do that, um, then your contract gets cut. You know, either you lose your contract altogether or maybe, you know, you lose certain benefits and perks. And I remember thinking at the time that that's so unfair for female athletes. And that is clearly why we haven't seen female athletes, quote unquote, you know, stop for a moment to say, hey, let's start a family until they have decided to retire so that again was a big deal for me but then and the question came in again nike is not very supportive of athletes and in that particular instance clearly they weren't even very supportive of female athletes right and you know majority of our top athletes especially that run for nike are female nike nike whichever one that comes out of my mouth track is just work with it right so um, from then on, you know, I've been thinking, all right, Nike, I'm giving you all the side eye, but let's see how, you know, this brand progresses. Then there was the high profile signing of Sydney McLaughlin Leveroni. Um, you know, back then she was seen McLaughlin, right? I'm always struggling pronouncing her last name, but you know, it is what it is. 
Um, so back then when she was signing, everybody thought, myself thought, you know, because Nike was the thing, she was definitely going to go with Nike. Now, uh, Sydney said, no, 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 not choosing Nike. I'm choosing a brand that cares about me. And, you know, they stress that. And again, you know, when it came out that she didn't choose Nike, again, it came into question, what is going on with this brand? Why is it that athletes do not want to sign with them? What is in this contract that is so unfavorable to athletes that they know they're choosing to go elsewhere, especially some of the biggest names in track and field are choosing to go to other, you know, brands. Now, that, that again was another instance where I was like, all right, something to write with Nike. So if, I'm like, you know what? Any Jamaican athletes, you know, if you're not going to go with Nike, just make sure they want to read everything, all of the fine print, make sure that you're not signing your life away. <laughs> that was my opinion, you know, when it came um, to the brand. So, of course, Sydney moved on, or not that moved on, but she chose to not work with Nike. Um, and in recent years, I've seen, you know, a plethora of high-profile athletes, you know, choosing to cut ties um, with the brand. Simone Biles um, decided to do that. You know, our very own track and field athletes, Motas Esha Bars Shim, and not only him, you know, he's from the high jump, but not only him, we've had our very own Elaine Thompson Hera choosing our Hera choosing to cut ties with the brand and, you know, choose another sponsor. In Motors and Elaine's case, they've cho chosen, I think, Puma um, for their sponsorship. So Trackies, again, we've had reasons based on what we've been seeing, the activities we've been seeing to say something no right with Nike, right? That's our thought process. So we didn't just come up and say on the channel and say, yo, just stay away from Nike. Based on the happenings that we've been seeing, we're like, something is not right when it comes to this brand and signing these athletes. There's definitely something unfavorable in that contract. No, I did point out um, some time ago, I don't remember if it was last year that I've noticed that, you know, some of these companies, like say Puma, they up, uh, allow um, partnerships with other brands, you know, like Red Bull, and you're able to look on their apparel and see, you know, the big Red Bull logo, right? So that was a big deal. Um, I, again, and I'm thinking, you know, why is it that Nike doesn't allow it? I, I've heard from multiple sources that they say, listen, Nike doesn't want no such partnership um, with their, um, especially when it comes to wearing it on the apparel itself. So again, with all of that being said, why would a Jamaican athlete choose Nike when we're some from some, in their opinion, from some backwater country? I mean, if Americans don't really have no say, the biggest athlete um, from America in our sport, that is Alison Felix, doesn't even have a say. Um, why would Jamaicans have a say? You know what I mean? So I'm like, look here, just stay far, 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 far from the brand itself. However, Alana Reed chose to go with Nike. So there must be something. There must have been some change. So track is a few weeks ago, I don't know if you guys remember on one of my live streams, I pointed out that Vashti Cunningham has on the Red Bull. She apparently got some some partnership with Red Bull and it's there smack dead on her Nike gear. And I'm like, I've never seen that before. I've never seen that on any Nike gear. So clearly Clearly, they're not alone. It's, I'm like, hmm, this is interesting. I remember pointing it out because I was watching, I don't remember which Diamond League I was watching, but I remember they showed um, a segment of the high jump and I saw her. But the first thing I saw was a big Red Bull on her outfit because it stood out to me because it's something that I've spoken about already. So I'm like, hmm, Nike is now alone in this. So track is with the whole um, clear partnership thing, you know, something that is resolved with Nike in terms of able, you're able to know, you know, get additional um, partnerships, sponsorships um, when you're signed with them. I'm like, all right. I started to think a little bit deeper now about this whole um, Alana Reed thing. And then I remember the most important thing or one of the most important things. She is currently signed with Actos Global Sports. That's the same um, management company that signed with Sydney. So if Nike wasn't good enough back then because, you know, of how they treated their athletes, something had to have changed for this management company to say, okay, it's a, it's a go with Nike for Alana. Something has to have changed because they would not 
um, go in that route because again, they've been very supportive of, of their athletes and obviously they're choosing the best option for them. If Nike didn't change, if they, if whatever they're putting in their contracts didn't change, there's no way in my opinion that, you know, that management company in particular would have chosen to go with Nike considering that, you know, they didn't do so for Sydney. Right. So seeing here, um, Alana go with Nike. I'm actually not concerned in the, in the least bit because I'm like, you know what? Something has to have changed. This uh, management company seems to be on top of things. They seem to care a lot about their athletes as well. And if you remember as well, um, it, it, the, the company is partly owned by, you know, one of our very own Seku Clark. So, of course, he's also looking out for his own um, in Jamaicans. So I'm expecting a, um, a great partnership with Alana Reed and Nike. And um, I don't expect to hear, you know, any issues um, going forward as it relates to how supportive they really are of their athletes in the future. But anyway, trackies, I gave you a whole long list. <laughs> as it relates to my thought process on, um, you know, Nike, the brand, you know, in the past, but it seems they have changed and, and possibly changed for the better, which is a good thing for our athletes, especially going forward. But, you know, I'm looking out for Jamaicans, hopefully they can, you know, make it big. You know, you will see you're saying about doing things out here with, with almost everybody. So clearly there's opportunity out here um, for athletes when it comes to sponsorships and partners and partnerships, right? Or partnering um, with these companies. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you concerned about Alana signing with Nike or do you think they have changed or ch uh, and changed for, you know, the better? Sound off in the comment section. Or if you have no inside information, let me know about because again, I'm sitting on the outside looking in. Kindly share that in the comment section as well. Now, with that said, I'm T. I'll catch you in a next one.